Grow House in Denver, Colorado. What a privilege to meet the two guys there that are running that place, Kobe Gould and Adam Brock. What wonderful men they are. And some of their assistants. Another guy I had time with was Zach Kilimo. Now these guys are doing just a fantastic job in the middle of Denver, Colorado. And they are servicing a low socioeconomic area that is termed a food desert. Now you might say, what in the world is a food desert and how could there possibly be one in the middle of Denver, Colorado? Well, there is, and you'll see what that is when you look at the video. And you'll see what great work these guys are doing in teaching people how to grow their own food and growing food to supply to the local community. A fantastic project. We got some great film there, and we spent a lot of time with these guys. What inspirational people they are. And you'll get some wonderful, wonderful ideas from them. If you're inclined to help others and to spread the good word about aquaponics and do things that can help people put food on their table, high quality food on the table, you'll get bags of inspiration from seeing the story about Grow House Denver, Colorado. The people will be able to see this beautiful mural that's been painted here. But we're in a, what I've been told is a food desert. What does that exactly mean? Right, so a food desert is, is an area where unfortunately there's a lot of them all across the country in the states where there isn't much access to fresh healthy food. Okay, um, so is the, that because of locality or because of economy? Uh, it's, it's kind of a combination of both. Mm -hmm. It's basically, you know, this is a low income area, so grocery stores don't want to set up shop here because they don't think they'll get the right mm -hmm. uh, amount of revenue. Um, so what happens is, you know, the nearest place where you can get fresh healthy food is two, three miles away. So if you can imagine being someone living in this neighborhood, you know, they don't have much money. They have to maybe get on the bus with their stroller and their kids and go, you know, two miles down the road to, just to get groceries. That, that's not going to happen all the time. Not yeah. that. So, what you're doing here is really a good work. So look, how about taking me inside and we'll start to have a look at some of the things you're doing. Is that okay? Sure, yeah, I'd love so to let's, show you around. Let's go. So we're just a little out. bit cheaper than the PVC plastic. Part of our goal here is to lower our costs as cost. much as possible, be as low energy as possible. Also, there's two layers in this trough here, which mm -hmm. allows water to overflow and go into a second wow, trough underneath. Wow, that's neat. Gets better aeration to the roots and really addresses one of the bigger problems that you have with a traditional NFT system. NFT. So this is quite expensive, you know. It's really important. We wanted to do something different with our lives uh, and contribute back to the community, and so all these things kind of came together really well. Space, the mission of the Grow House, and the opportunity to build some systems. Yep. So you felt the same way, you? Absolutely. I mean, to us, it was important to feed our family quality food, but we realized not everybody has that opportunity. So connecting the pieces and parts of giving back to community and making the world a better place and showing our kids like where their food came from as well as eating good quality foods mm. these are all these pieces so important parts, isn't it and all of it worked i mean ever since we we connected with the